With Tekken being such a complicated game, we felt it was important to try to help everybody who may just now be stepping into the game understand the basic controls, simple defense options, and a few universal movement options associated with Tekken. We'll also toss in some common Tekken terminology to prepare you for further videos here or elsewhere. Now remember, this is the absolute foundation of Tekken playing. We are going to assume that you've never played Tekken or a fighting game before in your life, so bear with us. Now we're going to assume that you're using the default controller. Tekken typically utilizes four buttons and a direction pad or stick. Each button on your controller of choice corresponds to each limb of your character. Left punch, right punch, left kick, and right kick. The popular notation for these limbs is one for left punch, two for right punch, three for left kick, and four for right kick. In the Tekken Tag games, a fifth button, tag, or five is used to switch out your character. Movement is by far the single most important and most overlooked aspect of Tekken. Without proper movement, you'll hit a wall and you're playing very quickly. For now, we'll keep movement simple. As usual, we're going to assume that you're on the left or first player side. To walk forward, press and hold right on the D-pad or arcade stick. Forward is always toward your opponent. To walk backward, press and hold left on the D-pad or arcade stick. Backward is always away from your opponent. To crouch or duck, press and hold down, down forward, or down back on the D-pad or arcade stick. Ducking is always down and will never change depending on your position. To jump, which you will rarely do in Tekken, press and hold up, up forward, or up back on your D-pad or arcade stick. Jump is always up and again will never change depending on your position. Blocking is another extremely important tool. Go figure. Blocking is exactly what it sounds like. You block your opponent's attack and receive no damage. Executing a block is one of the easiest commands in Tekken. Just hold back or down back. However, as with everything else in Tekken, there's more to it than that. And remember, your character will only block when an attack is incoming. Tekken has five types of attacks that directly affect how you need to block. High, Middle, Low, Special Middle, and Unblockables. High attacks are exactly what they sound like. They hit high and must be blocked standing or avoided by ducking. Middle attacks are trickier to avoid. These attacks must be blocked by standing and cannot be crouched under or crouched block. Low attacks hit, as you guessed it, low. These attacks must be blocked crouching or by jumping. This can include using a jumping attack and certain jumping-like attacks. Special middle or special mid attacks are unique in that they can be blocked both crouching and standing. Special mid attacks are the strangest in the game and were added to balance certain moves such as crouching punches, which used to hit low in the original Tekken. Unblockables are... Unblockable. While you are unable to block these attacks, they typically take a long time to hit and make a big spectacle of themselves as they charge up. So either avoid the attack with movement, or just hit your opponent first, canceling the attack. There's a Tekken phenomenon we like to call the deer in the headlights effect with unblockables, where we seem to enjoy watching the pretty colors of the charge up of an unblockable and getting smacked in the face by it. Do yourself a favor and don't fall for this nonsense. Also remember, some characters have very fast unblockables, but they typically do less damage. Now, you gotta learn to walk before you can run, but walking will not be your primary form of movement at all. We know, we know, you just learned to walk, but walking is slow, silly, and makes it more difficult to hit people. And in this game, you want to hit people. To correct this lack of easy pugilism, let's talk dashing. In order to dash forward, tap right twice in rapid succession. You'll notice your character hop forward quickly towards your opponent. And as with walking, forward is always towards your opponent. In order to backdash, tap back on the D-pad or arcade stick in rapid succession. You will notice your character hop backwards away from your opponent. Note that if you're blocking, backdashing will cancel your block, leaving you vulnerable to attack in the middle of your backdash. So, be careful. And as with walking, backwards is away from your opponent. And take note, different characters have different distances on their forward and backward dashes. In addition to dashing, you are also able to run towards your opponent. Unfortunately, you aren't capable of running backwards. Running does give you access to some great moves at certain distances, but, again, that's another tutorial. In order to run, just press forward three times in rapid succession. 
At closer distances, it's hard to tell that your character is running, but trust me, they are. Remember, when you're at a greater distance, about five character lengths away, simply doing a forward dash and holding it will make your character run. And we aren't done yet. Remember, Tekken is a 3D fighting game, so moving forward and backward aren't your only options. You can also move along the third dimension with a movement option creatively called sidestepping. In order to sidestep away from the camera, tap up once. You will see your character step away from the camera. In order to sidestep towards the camera, tap down once. Sidestepping is typically used in order to dodge or avoid an incoming linear attack to gain an advantage. Not all attacks are sidesteppable. In fact, some are designed to stop you from sidestepping. Other attacks, however, are so vulnerable to the sidestep that you will get your opponents back. As a note, most players refer to sidestepping in terms of left or right. That is, sidestepping right or sidestep left. But for the purposes of this video, we'll stick to away or towards the camera, which is a little easier to understand. Now, sidestepping doesn't typically move you very far in either direction, but there is another movement option called sidewalking. In order to sidewalk away from the camera, tap up once, like a sidestep, then press and hold up. You will see your character sidewalking away from the camera. In order to sidewalk towards the camera, tap down once, like a sidestep, then press and hold down. Remember, sidestepping is typically good for avoiding a single attack, while sidewalking is good for avoiding attacks that have multiple strikes, commonly called strings, to gain advantage. You've made it this far. All right. Now, what's better than backdashing or forward dashing once? Doing either dash multiple times in a row. Think about it this way. The easiest way not to get hit is to get out of the way of an attack. Additionally, constantly moving can frustrate your opponent into making rash decisions, allowing you to capitalize. We mentioned that you're not able to block just after and during a forward or backward dash, so canceling your dash in either direction is a good way to increase your chances of winning. The easiest method to start canceling a dash is to sidestep after a dash. Once you get a feel for canceling your dashes, you can begin to backdash like an advanced player would. However, that's a totally different tutorial in and of itself. So for now, stick with this simple method. Hopefully this will help you on your way to becoming a Tekken god. While some of this stuff is fairly simple, not knowing it can make the road to victory rather cumbersome. And remember, please rate, subscribe, and let us know what other Tekken tutorials you'd like to see in the comments section. I'm Bonus Wagner for CK. Keep playing. Money.